gentlemen, um, this next fight is a, is a charity fight. Some of you may have seen this on, on social media. We are, you know, trying to raise some money for this special young man called Lewis. I'm, I'm joined in the ring by his mum, but I want to just tell you a little backstory. So young Lewis, um, we need to raise some money for a wheelchair to make, you know, his life a bit better, a bit easier for his friends and family. So it's our mission to make sure we hit the target. Maybe not tonight, but if we don't get it tonight, we're going to carry on after this evening. So we've got these buckets and our lovely ring girls are going to go around this evening. So all I ask is if, if you've got any spare change and you're in a position to, please, you know, make a small donation. It will go a long way to reaching this target. Uh, also, on this video, we will be putting a link to make any online donations. I'm just going to pass you to Lewis's mum very quickly for a brief description on the condition. Thank you, Robert Jones, our first donation. Hi. Uh, having a child diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy is devastating. It's a degenerative and life-limiting condition. Lewis's daily life meets challenges. He can't go up and down the stairs, he can't raise himself in and out of bed. Um, obviously a wheelchair is the way forward for him. Um, I cannot express our gratitude to everybody that has supported our cause. And to the Upton family and for John stepping in the ring, it's just incredible. His dedication to training is just phenomenal. I'd also like to thank Richard and Dave from Tank Promotions for promoting our cause and supporting John. Also to Andrew Brooks, who's John's opponent. Never did I think an opponent would step forward and also support this cause. Um, and to West Oxen Boxing Fitness Club, we can't thank you enough for everything you've done for us. Thank you to everybody who has supported and donated to our cause. We are truly grateful. That's amazing. Thank you very much. We've got a fight now. Listen, these men are raising money, but they're having a fight. So I wish both guys all the best. I'm going to stop talking. Please, the girls are going to go our buckets and sit back and enjoy the action. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Lewis Journey charity, please. Give it up one more time. <laughs> Introducing again, boxing up of the red corner, Andrew. Here's a point. Boxing out of the blue corner. John Upton. This belt is dedicated to the Lewis Journey Charity. Schedule four, three, two minute rounds. And to know to a four in the evening. So Tank Promotions by seven tonight. As you heard, a wonderful charity event. Andrew Brooks in the red corner with the black t-shirt against John Upton who is boxing for young Lewis and to help him get a wheelchair for his degenerative condition. So John is grateful that Andrew stepped up but everybody's grateful that John has taken on this match to raise awareness and funds for Lewis. So three two minute rounds, a wheelchair at stake. John looks in incredible shape here and Andrew you saw a big smile. He's the man with the vest on. Immediately rose to the challenge to help raise money for Lewis three two-minute rounds from these two men and for what a great cause really puts white collar boxing in such a good light and track promotions supporting wherever they can so we're at this point the actual bout itself back seven here tonight on an incredible card these two men boxing for young Lewis and it's pretty even opening round so far nice tidy combinations and work from both men Good work, both of them behind the jab. And as mentioned by Lewis's mum, John in incredible shape for this bout. But Andrew doing his fair share of the work as well. This is a, a genuine bout here. And both men evenly matched at the moment. Stood toe-to-toe -to -toe in the centre of the ring. Working well behind the lead hand, both of them. Three two-minute rounds of action. Good upper body movement from John as Andrew pushes forward. Bobbing and weaving, making a lot of those shots miss. And a good stiff jab in reply from John. And his jab just working the better of the two at the moment. Just that bit stiffer and straighter. 
He's centre ring now. Last 10 seconds of a very good competitive opening round from these two men. As I said, not a great deal between them. Two touch gloves, one down, two to go, the midway point. Both men, I feel, operating within parameters they're comfortable with. Neither Sit truly down. tested with a heavy shot, but both remained busy Round and two. looking to work good technique behind that lead jab, the midway point now. And it's John that steps into the centre and immediately Andrew fires back a combination to keep him at range. Good cardio, both men, a lively start to the second round here as they pick up the pace. They had a good look at each other in the opening round. Now busy getting on with the boxing. And John trying to stay centering and get busier with that right hand as well. Ducks under that left hand as Andrew fires back a short combination. And again, as you can see, both men very busy. Both trained hard for this cardio. Not a problem at the moment. A nice little right hand from Andrew there over the guard. And I said, good matchmaking here. Even though it's a charity bout, which Love Day Tank Promotions made sure both men have got a fighting chance, and that's good to see. Andrew just giving ground, but he continues to throw consistently in reply to John Shots. And again, toe to toe. Neither's wanted to take a backward step. They kept these shots going consistently, the crowd urging them on. And Andrew giving as good as he gets here. Toe-to-toe -to -toe in the centre of the ring. And both have picked up the pace considerably here in the second round. Just warned about the back of the head there, Andrew. No malice, I think it's just the adrenaline. And the size of the occasion here. Big crowd, big venue, big promotion. And both men doing themselves proud here for young Lewis. Andrew has stayed in front of John the whole time, willing to stand and trade with him. Tom. And that's two down, just one to go. And an excellent charity bout, very competitive. So they're going to touch gloves for third and final round. Seconds out for the third and final round. And Andrew leads with the jab. John gets back to the centre of that ring. Andrew now pushes forward. He's been like that throughout the two previous rounds. As I said, cardio not a problem for these two men. And Andrew's starting to put those combinations together. They're slightly wide hooks compared... I feel that John has the tighter boxing technique. A slightly cleaner technique of the two. Just keeping his shots shorter, shorter and sharper. Andrew gives ground and then pushes back. It's been the nature of this bout. Neither man's allowed the other to get up ahead of steam. They've kept it competitive throughout the three rounds. Consistently pushing each other. And again, Andrew just warned about the back of the head. I agree. No malice there. John making nothing of it. Not making a fuss at all. Just keen to get straight back on. John looking to work the body now and then working behind. As I said, he's got a good stiff jab. The man from the blue corner. But look at this. Toe to toe. Neither man's wanted to take a backward step across the three rounds. Coming to the end of a very good competitive bout. And he's hurt his right arm there, John. Suddenly, he just gave the impression that either the shoulder had popped or the bicep. But it's really changed the dynamic of this third round. He grits his teeth and comes forward. Andrew looked to capitalise, as you would. And you can see, relying almost Last totally on the jab seconds. now, John. Ten seconds. You'd like to see both men finish this bout. The crowd going crazy. But dangerous moments there for John. He just saw the pain on his face, but he's... Oh, and it's gone again. He's saying he's looking at the arm, but right at the bell. 
Thank goodness he survived right to that end. But look, I don't know if the shoulder's popped out or it's the arm. But at least he did all three rounds. Sportsmanship there from Andrew. What a great bout from these two men. And for what a great course. Lewis in his wheelchair. Excellent work from both. Sorry, guys. The referee's not up to it tonight. Here we go with the official result, but what a great Please back to charity. Boxers, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew pointing at John. I think he's right. Just the cleaner again, technique. It was competitive. Please give as much as you can for a great cause, for a great charity. Thank you. After three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a split. Decision. Oh, it's split. Both men were busy. I thought John was just the tider of the so two. You're Boxing out of the right corner. Andrew's Andrew. taken it Good. from work rate. I feel I feel John was the cleaner, but Andrew's taken it with work rate. But look at him showing his sportsmanship here. Again, guys, give it up for John Upton. Honestly, it's for a great cause. He's fighting for a great cause tonight, so please give it up for John Upton. Amazing support we've had. Built it to uh, Honus and Andrew. I should have done better, but you know, we're the better man of the night. Uh, yeah, we've done everything we needed to do anyway, I have anyway. It was like, please just keep giving the money in. John has put his arse on the line, okay? We put our arses on the line so we can raise a few quid, and we know we've got a few quid in here tonight. Let's fucking raise it. Big up John Hopton, big up Lewis. Be a West Oxford! Congratulations, guys. Well 